So the, so the first thing we're going to do, again, we're going to take it very simple, is we're going to sh introduce you to, the, to how transformers work. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to validate uh, validate some some XML, show you how to validate XML. Okay, so back up here, oh, sorry, here, and now into validate, okay, data, and we're going to validate uh, some XML here, so we'll open it with Workbench, okay, and um, in this case what I'm going to do is for these I'm not going to use the XML reader, I'm going to use a text file reader, because I want to read an entire XML document as one big chunk. Okay, and in here it doesn't matter, I'm not going to anything, so I'm going to use the, the null writer, which is very, very fast, but doesn't do a lot. Okay, so now I have, if I log this, you'll see that I have, okay, I can see my XML, as we've always seen, there it is, but I want to validate it. And the nice thing about FME is now in the middle of a flow, I can drop in things called transformers. And the way I do that is I simply, in this case, I've highlighted a link. If I type XML, I'm going to see all the transformers that begin with XML. Okay, I want to do validation. So I type validation, and you can see there's an XML validator. I'd simply hit enter and OK. And now I've connected a validator. And I'm going to log the past one, the ones that are good there. And I'll put another one for the failed ones there. And now I'm going to be validating um, the attribute specifying XML text. So it's coming in on an attribute. In this case, there's only one attribute. It's called text line data. So that's the one I'm going to validate. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'll, there's three modes. I should go back there. There's three modes. There's none, which enables you to turn it off programmatically through a published parameter, or syntax only, which will validate the syntax. Um, in many cases, there is no such thing as a schema for the XML. So the best you can do is syntax validation and in other cases you may have the XSD document so you want to do both. Okay. So initially we will do syntax only. Okay. And um, I will run that and this is going to be run on that uh, that OS that um, orders document. Okay. So let's pick one a different a different one. In this one what I've done is whoops in this one what I've done is I've wrecked the syntax okay so we will run this and we'll see that we get a log failed out and we will look at what FME says and FME tells us exactly the line number where the problem is okay it says um, line number 16 expected end of tag customer so if we open this XML document here and we go to line 16 not with that with notepad plus and then you'll see on line 16 there's a problem right there okay because I didn't I forgot the R okay so what about uh, schema if I'm doing schema and syntax validation that's something else it can do of course you need to specify where the schema file is okay and again I can say okay I run in prompt and I will select the schema and order schema this guy here okay verify that I actually did yes I did and again FME tells you exactly what's wrong with the schema so in this case the file was syntactically correct but it was not syntactically correct okay so on line 5 basically my tag name was incorrect so again if I go here and I open this file and I go to line 5, not that way, see IE thinks it's fine because IE doesn't worry about schema, but if I go here in notepad and look at line 5, you can see it was company name, company name, so I spelt that wrong. So that's, um, again, a very simple case showing um, now you're starting to see some of the power of FME with these transformers. Um, FME is really about what you do with the data in the middle, not necessarily the data at the beginning or the end.